So now for some tips and tricks using the uh, Mini Carver. This is our newer model. It now has dust extraction on it. It has a button on the rear side here which locks the, the head for you to tighten and replace your blades. I've got my finger on the button at the other side here and it locks in and I can loosen or tighten the blades. So press the button in when it gets to the right position it'll drop in there. This blade is called the Mini Pro and it has a cutting edge uh, all the way around, little round cutters which are replaceable and rotatable. So as they get blunt you can rotate them, you can resharpen them or you can replace them. Now the beauty of this blade is it works really nicely vertically or horizontally. If I just drag it along I can do a trench like this. So you can see if I use it vertically I can drag it along and create a nice profile exactly the same diameter as these cutters. You can sweep it sideways in the vertical position as well or you can lay it out on any angle down to completely flat. Here I'm just going to smooth this out, use it on, a, on an angle of about 45 degrees. Yeah, so it's very easy to use, vertical, horizontal, basically wherever you put it, it'll remove the wood. The Mini Industrial Blade works beautifully on the Mini Carver. It's quite different to the Mini Pro that, that comes with it, in that it's much narrower. So you see a very narrow, still carbide tips, they're not replaceable, but they are resharpenable. Now, this will trench a nice little narrow cut but you can lay it on its angle and do uh, other sweeping cuts as well. Uh, it's actually quite a joy to use and it's still a blade that I very much enjoy using. I find that uh, setting the Mini Carver to about three on the, on the little scale at the back here is about the right speed for doing your sanding. And I like to use uh, initially a, a very rough sandpaper. I think this is about 60 or 80 grit. Now the sanding disc has got a a lip on the edge there which is designed to allow it to flex quite quite a bit so you can get right into some tight areas with this. So you can see how quickly you can uh, you can do final shaping using this and of course I can go to finer discs as well and you'll notice that the dust extraction works very very well it saves you having a lot of dust while you're doing this sort of shaping and sanding.